For this standby, I have to make Leo some chicken nuggets. Right now, these chicken nuggets are frozen pretty solid. So I have to warm them up. Well, in our universe, there's three different ways that heat can be transferred from one object to another. It just so happens that all three of them are right here in front of me. The first method of heat transfer is called convection. And that's exactly how this oven works. When I turn on the oven, this coil at the bottom gets incredibly hot. The air around the coil heats up and it starts to rise through this process of convection. The air continues to circulate throughout the oven, keeping everything inside nice and warm, including a chicken nugget. The second method of heat transfer available to our universe is conduction, which is illustrated here by the stovetop. Conduction is when heat is transferred by one object touching another. In this case, if I heat up the stove, this glass disc gets red hot. I put a frying pan on top of it and the chicken nugget in the frying pan. And now through conduction, the fact that all these things are touching, the heat can transfer from the stove to the pan to the chicken nugget. The third method of heat transfer is radiation, which is illustrated here by the microwave. The microwave has a source inside that generates light waves in the microwave part of the spectrum. These microwaves can carry the heat energy and transfer it to the chicken nugget. The secret to the microwave is that pretty much all food has water in it. And water molecules can be caused to vibrate back and forth when a microwave passes by. So the microwave's really just heating up the water inside the chicken nugget, which makes the whole thing warm. Of course, there's advantages and disadvantages to each of these methods of heat transfer. But throughout our universe, and even in our kitchen, we see all three in action. Who's hungry? Woo! Ha! Stand by.